Welcome back everybody. Got another great video for you. I think we're gonna put a giant hole in the side of this, this wall here. Uh, it's something I'm familiar with. Uh, I've done a lot of new entries into homes. It kind of was a specialty of mine uh, about a decade ago where I'd go into these houses made in the 70s, 80s, even sometimes in 90s, and they would get these builder grade uh, doors when they bought the house or that's just how they were, they were built. I would cut the entire wall out so usually you just got a doorway with some drywall here and some drywall there. Well, I would cut the entire wall out, even the drywall here and the drywall there, and put in these massive door systems. Sometimes they're, we made them into French doors. Uh, sometimes they had lights, or they call them lights, but they're windows on either side. But uh, it can be a little uh, intimidating cutting a giant hole in someone's house. I think I've got some, uh, some old pictures up on my Instagram of some of these videos. I'll put my Instagram right here. That's a way you can send me a message. You can send me, uh, yeah, you can do whatever you want. Ladies have been sending me pictures lately, which is, that's probably a topic for some late night live streams. So we're gonna get started. Handyman from the future is gonna edit this video. Now we just, just had a, a big old thunderstorm blow through. We've got steel siding. Keep in mind, this has been like this. I believe I checked, it was 1994 when this siding was put on. And as you can see from inside, we had no water infiltration. You can't just cut this with a sawzall. It will just rip this stuff apart. So we're gonna have to go at this a little bit delicately. And uh, we also have a pergola that the door will be just under, and I think our rough opening will be just under too. It'll be interesting once this all comes apart. If you're wondering why I got the plastic bag up, it's because when you're filming inside and your, and your camera's pointed at a, a bright window, uh, it doesn't come out good. So that's why the window's blacked out. So there will be a step down also. That's a good thing. You don't want your exterior door on the same plane that rain and, and snow and ice can build up on. So that's a good thing.
<laughs> These are lead weights that make this window go up and down. Just gonna keep working. Hopefully this storm blows over. Um, in order to get this out, I got to take these lead weights out and then remove this glass so that it doesn't all go smashing in or smashing out. That's a big step. Put a stair there. Quite the accomplishment. There was a lot of pain in the ass factors into this. Now I still have to fur out the studs here, drywall it, but more importantly, this has to be installed correctly. And that's got to be a separate video. There is too much to cover in waterproofing, what membrane I use, what other options are available if you don't want to use what I use and the extensions. So I have to put an extension on these jams. It's called the jam extension. There's a threshold extension. Then I've got to put the brick mold back on. Uh, I've already knocked the brick mold off just to get it in the hole. And I may have to trim or add to that jam extension because this is a very non-conventional installation with uh, lath and plaster. Uh, two by four walls, and then we've got two layers of siding with one inch of foam board uh, in between the outer layer of siding and the, the shiplap siding. Please go down, subscribe, click the bell so that you know when the next video comes out. We can see how this all goes together. This has to look like it was originally built here, and it will. It always does. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.